Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today, I'm doing a crazy, crazy haul with some fragrances that I've been wanting to try for a really long time, as well as some luxury beauty items. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I got from Saks Fifth Avenue. And this video is kindly sponsored by them. I'm so excited to be working with them. We're gonna be chatting about their current promotion going on right now. So if you're excited to see what I picked up from Saks and definitely stay tuned if you're new to the channel Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Karina Waldron. I do beauty and fragrance related content So join the family hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications So you're notified every single time I upload a video and let's go ahead and jump into this one So when it comes to Saks Fifth Avenue, they literally have all of the luxury goods that you need from fashion to beauty to skincare, fragrances, you name it. It's like a one-stop shop and I love it because I can find all of my favorite brands. So if you're thinking of shopping at Saks Fifth Avenue, the time is now because they're actually having their spend and get sale. And let me tell you guys this great sale, okay? So when you spend $250, you get $50 off. When you spend $500, you get $100 off. When you spend $1,000, you get $200 off. I mean, when does the luxury items go on sale? Never. So this is the time you want to take advantage of. And this is valid from July 28th to July 29th. I will link all the products that I go ahead and haul down in the description box, as well as some other ones that I think are a must have from Saks Fifth Avenue. I love shopping there. Their shipping is amazing. Customer service is amazing. So definitely check it out. Check my description box for all of the details as well as links to every single product that I mention. And again, thank you so much to Saks Fifth Avenue for sponsoring a portion of this video. I have all of my items in this box over here that I'm going to show you guys what I picked up as well as a few little samples that I've been wanting to kind of play around with when it comes to fragrances. I'm so excited guys. So, so excited. So let's go ahead and just start with fragrances because I know y'all are really excited to see See what I picked up from Saks and these fragrances have been on my wish list for a really, really long time. And I love that I can just go to one shop and get my Killian's, my Tom Ford. I can get Joe Malone. I can get Byredo. I mean, you name your niche fragrances, they have it there. Okay. So I love that it's like one stop. I don't have to shop around all over the place. So the first fragrance that I picked up is one that the bottle really captivated me. And definitely this house is one of my favorites when it comes to fragrances. And that is none other than Tom Ford. I picked up Bitter Peach. This is the 50 mil. Again, I will link it down below. And already just looking at the box, I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to open this up. And guys, I had to hold myself back from not sniffing these fragrances. Okay. So this is going to be a complete first impression of the actual fragrances and definitely will do more of an in-depth review if you guys want to see that. So leave a comment down below. Now, a Bitter Peach, I have heard kind of mixed reviews, but those that love it really love it. And that bottle, she's stunning. She is stunning in person. I am really loving this bottle. It's screaming summertime vibes. And when it comes to fragrances, I'm trying to get more of the 50 mils and under because I have so many that I don't feel like I need 100 mils. So 50 is good enough for me. And again, this is a first impressions. I've never smelled this before. Ooh, oh wow, this is peachy. If you love peach fragrances, this is definitely a peach fragrance. It's sweet, fruity. Is there some kind of booze in here? It's kind of giving me a little bit of a boozy vibe also. It could be from the fruits. Maybe some patchouli in here also. And I'm slightly getting this like woody tone as it's drying down. Oh, I like this. I really like, I think this is a great summer fragrance. And I don't have any fragrances that are very peach prominent. And this is definitely peachy vibes. It could change in the dry down. 
But just smelling it here, I am liking it. It's definitely a scent that like the first opening kind of like lifted up my mood. Like straight up, I have a big smile on my face. And I feel like the peachy tone is subsiding a little bit, but it's still there. And I'm getting slightly like this woody, woody tone. Oh wow, okay, okay. I do like the scent. I think it's very different from my collection, anything in my collection. The bottle, <laughs> honey, this is stunning. This is stunning in person. She is a beauty. I love, love this bottle. And the scent is actually really pretty. I could definitely see myself wearing this during the summertime. I actually feel like I can even pull this off for the fall because it does have a slight woody tone. I think I'm getting some sort of patchouli note in here. I could be wrong. Again, this is a first impression, but honestly, I am not disappointed. So that is Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. So excited to have it in my collection. So the next fragrance that I went ahead and picked up is one that is a flanker. The original one, I was like, okay, but I really wanted to try the extreme version of this scent. And that is Killian's Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. Okay, this is a scent that I've been dying to just get on my nose and see what it's all about if I'm going to really love it. So I'm hoping the extreme version is a little different. I know that they added a different rose or floral tone in here. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out. And when you open it up, I love the Killian bottles. Like I love it. You can never go wrong. They are so luxurious and just elevated and luxe like it's stunning, okay? It's absolutely stunning. I am so excited to try this fragrance. Okay, I'm gonna spray it right here on the box. Two sprays. Let's give this a smell. My hopes are up. My hopes are really up for this one. Mmm, okay. All right, let's smell that again. This smells like the original Love, the one that I tried out the first time, but there is a little bit more of a freshness to it and an added spiciness to this scent. Oh, I kind of like that. I feel like whatever they added into this fragrance has cut down on the extreme sweetness and has made it a little bit more slightly mature, slightly mature. I don't know if there's like some jasmine or some tube rose in here. I do pick up some kind of floral uh, note in here, some kind of white floral. Oh, wow. Okay, I am going to spray that on my skin right here, but I do prefer this one over the original Love. This one just has a little bit more character. The original Love was just very, just sweet to me. And this one, I'm finding that there is a little, there's a little something there. It's still quite sweet, but not as heavily sweet as the original Love has a bit of this clean soapy vibe in the opening, but it's kind of drying down. And I definitely am getting like a fresh floral note in this scent. Oh, I like this. I, I do like it. Okay, definitely a scent that I have to have to wear on like a date night, a special occasion, because I really wanna see how it performs with the weather on my skin and what kind of vibe do I get? Do I get any compliments? Is it loud? So far, just smelling it right now, I can definitely, like having my hands here, I can smell it. It's kind of like in the air, so I don't think it's like a, you know, skin type of scent. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I definitely like this over the original Love. Okay, I'm gonna keep you guys posted for sure, for sure, but I do really like the way that this is playing off on my skin. So that is Killian's Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, the bottle. Oh, 
It's so, so good. And the very last full-size bottle that I went ahead and got is a fragrance that I am completely obsessed with. I've already sampled it a ton of times and I have told you guys that I will eventually get it into my collection because it's one that I know that I love and it's just like, it's timeless. It really is timeless. It's super popular and that is none other than MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540 Extract the Parfum. Oh, Oh, honey, you guys have no idea how excited I am to finally add this beauty into my collection. Welcome to the family. They're both stunning, but this one had a little something that really captured my attention. And I find that this is a little bit more projecting also. They both last really well, but this just had a lot more projection. And again, it had a little bit more of that sweetness that I don't get from the original BR540. Let's, let's just open this box because, oh man, I am so excited. If you are an MFK fan, definitely comment down below because I know a ton of you guys love his fragrances like I do. And the box is very simple, uh, but definitely a very sturdy box. And when you open it up, you open it this way here. There is a little card about the fragrance and look at the bottle. Oh, I love the plaque, okay? I'm loving the plaque, all of the little details. Very simple, but at the same time, it's such a luxe design. I cannot get over this bottle. I'm gonna spray it on this side here. And just so you guys know, there's so much weight to the caps on the MFK fragrances. There's quite a bit of weight on this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on this side right there. Oof, such a smooth atomizer. Oh, I don't even need to put my hand to my nose. The fragrance is there. Like it's literally like a cloud. Okay. It's literally enveloping the entire room and me. That's why I love the MFK fragrances. They just captivate the entire room. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is the most luxurious fragrance you can ever wear. It's definitely one of those scents that's going to make you feel super luxe, elegant, elevated. Compliments are going to pour in and it is just a scent that really captures people's attention. Instantly when you smell it, you're like, oh, what is that? Because it's one of those fragrances that is so hard to pinpoint every single note. It's more of a feeling. It's more of a vibe that you get with this scent. And that's why I love, love his fragrances because he just takes it to a whole nother level of uniqueness. Oh yeah. This is stunning, stunning, stunning. If you are in the market for a very luxurious fragrance, very luxurious fragrance, don't hold back. This is definitely worth every single penny. It's so lavish. It's just one of those scents that is beautiful on everyone. It's completely unisex. So whether you are a man or a woman, you are going to love this scent because it almost like transforms into your vibe. Like it just has an essence that goes with everyone. Um, whatever you're wearing, it kind of the occasion, it really just flows. You know what I mean? It's one of those magical scents that you, you, you really have a hard time describing, but you just know that it smells absolutely amazing absolutely amazing. And when I smell these fragrances, when I smell this one in particular, the word luxurious really is what comes to my mind. So those were the fragrances that I went ahead and got for myself. I love them all. Okay. I'm really, really loving them all. I can't wait to play around with them some more. And I'll definitely give you guys more of an update on upcoming videos. But I also ended up getting a few little samples. The sales associate was so amazing to do that. So so of course, Lost Cherry, I've already talked about it on my channel. This is on its way, like full bottle, 100%. This is stunning, absolutely stunning. And I will link it down below for you guys. Also, Lost Cherry is your sensual date night fragrance. She's sweet. She's a little almondy. I, I sprayed it on the card, actually. 
Oh, it's so gorgeous. This is definitely evening and date night vibes all of the way. I can't wait to get my full size bottle. Like I said, it's on its way. As soon as I smelt this sample, I just had to have it. Like I literally had to have it. And the other sample that I completely fell in love with and I already am planning to make another order at Saks with this one is Killian's Rolling in Love. Oh, my goodness, this scent is so good. So, so good. Rolling in Love is your beautiful kind of white floral nutty fragrance. Like it has a beautiful dose of almond, I believe. And it is, oh, it's delicious. It's so delicious. A little sensual, a little flirty, very feminine, very elegant, gorgeous for date night. But I feel like you can really pull this off any time of the day. Like it's very signature scent worthy. It's quite confident. And again, it has this beautiful, creamy nuttiness to it. I am so obsessed with this one. Again, it's already in my cart because I need it. Like I really, really need it. Out of all the samples, these two are definitely going to be added to my collection within a couple of days because I'm so obsessed with it. So I'll link these two down below also for you guys. Love them. So on to beauty products. I went ahead and picked up some Tom Ford makeup. I find that he does beautiful, like absolutely beautiful makeup from the packaging to the formula. They are actually amazing. So I've been wanting to try his shade and illuminate, um, kind of sculpting cream duo right over here. And I went ahead and got the intensity two. So this is the box that it comes in. I've really loved Tom Ford packaging. I have a couple of his lipsticks and highlighters and I just find everything is so luxe. Like the details on Everything is absolutely beautiful. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like over here. You have your contour cream over here and then you have your highlighting cream. So it's like a two in one compact, which is really great. And I'm excited to play around with this. You guys know that I love my cream bronzers. Like I can't get enough of a good cream bronzer. It just looks so seamless on the skin. So I'm excited to play around with this one. I mean, I've heard really amazing reviews with the Tom Ford cream bronzer. The next one that I got from Tom Ford is his badass mascara. Again, I've heard so many amazing things about mascara from Tom Ford, specifically the badass one. And I am so, so excited to try this out because I'm very picky when it comes to mascaras. I love a mascara that's actually gonna bring out my lashes. You can actually see it. It's going to look voluminous length and all of that stuff because I don't really use false lashes anymore. So I need a mascara that's going to actually do something. Okay. So I'm excited to try out the badass mascara and I'll show you guys the packaging. It just looks like this right there. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close up. So excited to play around with this mascara over here. And then I also ended up picking up a foundation from Tom Ford. This is actually my first foundation from Tom Ford. So I've tried out his highlighting products, um, eyeshadow, uh, lipsticks, which are actually gorgeous. And I have tried a blush also, but I've never tried the foundations. And this is definitely one that I want to try. I got mine in the shade, um, golden almond, which is 8.7. And it looks to be a pretty great match based on other reviews that I've seen with my complexion. And this is the traceless soft matte foundation. And I'll show you guys what the packaging looks like. Again, always so luxe. Like, look at this. So, so beautiful. There's also another foundation that I really want to try from him and I've already put it in my cart, which is more of a softer coverage foundation, a more luminous finish. So definitely going to get this one, but I wanted to try this out. I hope you guys enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Definitely excited for the fragrances. I mean, 
this bottle oh it's going on display on my vanity 100 so again i will link all of the products down below in the description box so definitely check it out there as well as like some of the samples that i talked about these are absolute gorgeous products and again now is the time to shop at saks fifth avenue with their amazing sale though so don't miss out on that i will link everything down below as well as all the details that i talked about will be in the description box so definitely comment and let me know what are you picking up from Saks Fifth Avenue again thank you for sponsoring a portion of this video can't wait to chat with you guys and I will see you all on the next one ciao